everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how you can take one of these beautiful little sugar pumpkins or pie pumpkins from your grocery store and cook it up into that pumpkin puree that you're gonna need to make all those pies for the holidays. But we're gonna do it in your pressure cooker. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to cook pumpkin in your pressure cooker. Now I have an electric pressure cooker. This is a Power Pressure XL 6 quart. I do not have an Instant Pot. I know many of you do have that brand. Word is coming down the communication, you know, highway that pumpkin may be in short supply this year because of any number of reasons. We've got a shipping issue, we've got a materials shortage, a raw materials shortage, and that means anything in a can or jar is going to be affected. Also, the pumpkin crop this year, I believe I've read in a couple of places, suffered a drought, and I can attest to that possibility because this pumpkin was so hard to cut up, I was afraid I was gonna injure myself and end up in the emergency room. Look, you see how thick the rind is on this pumpkin? so thick I could barely get through it with my Rada. I had to get out my big chef's knife and then I was thinking what can what else can I possibly use here? I mean don't think the chainsaw wasn't in the back of my head. The saw's all thingy. Yeah the saw's all thingy. Um, but in any case I have cut one uh, should this is a sugar pumpkin or a pie pumpkin these are plentiful in the grocery store I am still able to get these you don't want to eat a field pumpkin I mean you can they're very very fibrous and unpleasant the sugar pumpkins or the pie pumpkins are what you want to go for I don't know what they're gonna call it in your grocery store the small pumpkins they sell near the gourds and I've just cut this in half I took the seeds out I did save them I'm going to do something with those later. And it was approximately the same size as this one, just for reference. That's why I have it there. So if you have a basket for your pressure cooker, I highly recommend you use it. If you don't, then you can probably put your pumpkin, just whole halves in your pressure cooker on top of a trivet in the bottom. I'm going to put approximately two cups of water in my pressure cooker. And I'm going to put this pumpkin that I've cut up. You know, this is just in like eighths really and then make sure your valve is set to pressurize and not vent and I'm gonna put mine on I have a vegetable setting and I'm gonna put this in for 10 minutes now if you have an instant pot you can put it on the manual setting for between 8 and 10 minutes that's gonna depend on how big your pumpkin is these sugar pumpkins aren't that large this should get the job done I'm going to quick release this because I've got them cut up if you're using them in halves you you can natural release it if you choose, but I'm pretty sure that 10 minutes under pressure is gonna do just fine, that you can do a quick release on it. So I'm gonna come back when I'm ready to open this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Our pumpkin cooked for 10 minutes. Once it came up to pressure, I quick released all the pressure and you're the first to see it. Perfectly cooked pumpkin. This is the really the easiest way to do it. It also doesn't heat up your kitchen and you can get it done a lot more quickly. We're just going to take it out. In fact, I think I'm just going to use a tongs. You see how soft it is. Um, and then you can just put it in a bowl. You can get rid of um, all the rind. See, this rind stayed super tough. Now, I have seen people who grow their own pumpkins, harvest them, and then the pumpkin skin is nice and tender, and you can actually just blend it all up mm -hmm. in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and separate this pumpkin in the bowl, and then we'll come back and I'll show you that we have delicious pureed pumpkin ready to put in a pie or a pumpkin bread or any number of delicious pumpkin recipes for fall. Pie. So there you have it. I went ahead and I took the pumpkin flesh out of the rind. I threw the rind away. It was so thick. It was a little disappointing. It makes me wonder how long these pumpkins have been sitting in the store or in a warehouse for that matter. But I was able to get two full cups or one pint of pumpkin puree. I didn't even need my potato masher to do this or an immersion blender. It just easily mixed up with a fork. And I just stirred it until it was nice and smooth and all the fibers had been separated. Um, this is exactly what you need. This is what you would get if you bought a can of pumpkin, which like I said, I understand they may be scarce in my area. I'm having a more difficult time finding them this year than I ever have before. That's when you go and you buy some pie pumpkins and then you can either store this for up to a week in your jar 
in the refrigerator or you can put this in a Ziploc bag, press it flat, and then freeze it flat and keep it in your freezer for up to six months. So that's really easy, it's really quick, and you definitely wanna make sure that you're finding the sugar or pie pumpkins for this process. So that's how you can do a pumpkin puree in your pressure cooker, quick and easy. I think this, this process is super easy because it only takes about 10 minutes in the pressure cooker as opposed to about an hour in the oven. Either way, you don't have to have a pressure cooker to do this. You can totally do this in your oven. So that's how you do it. I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.